So if you want to know the latest stimulus news, then stand to the end of the video to never miss out on the very important stimulus information. So parents can get $500 per child for up to three children worth $1,500 per month. This is in the one. This is in one Texas county. It wants families to apply for a monthly stimulus program that will provide them around $4,500 per month. The program is designed to financially assist families that are struggling during the crisis. And there is good news on the way for citizens of the other states. As they are set to receive a payment of up to $1,400 on top of the tax refund in 2022. But in order to do so, certain criteria will have to be met. In order to receive such a payment, American citizens must either be, must either be a parent or a child who was born in 2021. Or be someone who has a new dependent. All these new economic measures are part of the American Rescue Plan, which made $1,400 payments for individuals and the dependent children. Most people have already had their full payment come in, but those who had eligible children in 2022 are able to claim the recovery rate credit on their next tax return. In the EIP payments, otherwise referred to as stimulus checks, were sent out during 2021. And these are advanced payments of the recovery rate credit. If you do not receive the full amount you were expecting by December 31st, you can claim the remainder of the money when you submit your tax in 2022. So given that the 2021 EIP payments were calculated off a person's 2020 or 2019 return, any eligible dependents who became a member of the family in 2021 will not have been included in the calculation or the payment. Every state will be receiving a federal budget to administrate these funds, but it will solely depend on each state's administration to decide how to spend those funds and which benefits will be part of this plan. So if you qualify for the recovery rate credit, you are able to claim your you are able to claim the child on your 2020 tax turn, which will be completed in 2022. Those who qualify for an additional payment via the American Rescue Plan will have the credit arrive as part of the 2021 refund. In order to qualify, dependents must be under 19 at the end of the year unless they are a student. Now folks, in addition, the dependent must be a child, brother, or even a sister. So there are, other, some, there are some other requirements that must be met in order to receive the recovery rate credit payment. And the Senate parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough has actually ruled against Democrats' pitch to include immigration reform provisions in their almost $2 trillion spending bill. That's a major setback for the party in their third attempt at the effort. And Senator Durbin was actually disappointed with the ruling and that the Democrats are concerning what options remain. The two reform provisions sought to include work permits for immigrants who have been in the United States since before 2011. And two congressional sources said that Democrats and Republicans made formal arguments earlier. Democrats argued that the work permits and the provisions would have a budgetary impact and a requirement under Senate rules. Thank you again for your support, folks. And if you have any more questions about the Fortune Stimulus Check, then leave them in the comments below. President, do you hear what I hear? Before the prancing and pawing of each little hoof of Santa's eight tiny reindeer will be heard on the roof. There's a joyful sound that denotes the coming of the Yuletide season in just a few instantly recognizable notes. Of course, I am talking about Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. While it's become a holiday classic, the song is taking on a whole new meaning this season. If, like Mariah, you don't want a lot for Christmas and don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree, this may be your year. That's because Bidenomics is causing everything to be backordered, delayed, unavailable, or just plain unaffordable. Even Christmas trees are in short supply. So don't be surprised if your only option to deck the halls this year looks like Charlie Brown's sad little twig of a fir tree branch. Whether shopping at a store or online, we are all experiencing it. With the cost of gifts up 20%, and consumer prices surging to the highest level in over 30 years, you are paying a whole, whole, whole lot more for a whole, whole, whole lot less. That is, if you can even find what you are looking for. Perhaps the most telling sign of the times, the Dollar Tree, which had to discontinue selling some of its popular products, Due to cost constraints, 
is raising prices to a dollar twenty-five. President Biden's contribution to this year's season of giving could best be summed up by an elf on an empty shelf. After all, the Biden administration has ignored, dismissed, and even contributed to the conditions causing these economic hardships. Speaking at the White House just last week, the president actually claimed his efforts have resulted in, quote, shelves across the country being well stocked, end quote. That may be true at his White House gift shop, but not in the stores in Iowa and across the country. The supply chain problem is such a mess, not even Rudolph with his nose so bright can guide all of the barges stuck at sea into port by Christmas night. The Democrats' out-of-control spending spree and misguided economic policies, like paying people not to work for most of the year, have decreased both the availability of goods as well as the value of the money in your wallet. For folks in Iowa and the rest of the nation who are working longer hours due to labor shortages or just to keep up with the skyrocketing prices, this has created a real-life nightmare before Christmas. As a result, a record number of Americans say they won't be buying gifts this year. But rather than addressing these concerns, Bear Shelves Biden is pushing his so-called Build Back Better Act, which itself is a Christmas tree bill adorned with something for every left-wing special interest group and topped off with a massive $300 billion tax break for coastal elites. For those millionaires on their wish list who literally have everything, D.C. Democrats are wrapping up a generous tax cut worth nearly $17,000. To no one's surprise, those benefiting the most from this tax giveaway live in or around the San Francisco Congressional District represented by Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the state of New York, home of the Senate Majority Leader. It's a, li it's a lot like a plot twist to Charles Dickens' classic, A Christmas Carol. But instead of learning to embrace the giving spirit of Christmas, Scrooge receives a tax handout paid for out of the pockets of essential workers struggling to provide for their own families. What a bunch of humbug.